Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a few exercises to use for your pirouettes. So one of my favorite ones is doing a walk pirouette into a canter pirouette. So um, if you can do a walk pirouette, if you can do a walk canter transition, then you can start schooling your horse with um, this exercise. So here I'm just going on a nice schooling walk pirouette. Then I'm going to ask him to canter and I'm gonna stay in that schooling walk pirouette. Now that wasn't the greatest transition. I'm gonna walk, go back to the walk, stay in the pirouette, round, and back to canter. So this exercise does a few things. The walk to canter gets your horse to really sit and engage the hind end so that when you pick up the canter, they're kind of there for you. They're sitting, they're engaged, and you can just stay going. Boy, it also kind of explains to your horse the footfalls because the, um, the walk pirouette and the canter pirouette are the same footfalls. It's just a different gait. So if you can do a walk pirouette, it's basically the same thing as a canter pirouette, just that a canter pirouette you're cantering and a walk pirouette you're walking. So now if your horse starts to spin like he did there, what I'll do is I'll push him off of this inside leg, which he's not reacting to very well. And then once he's back into my outside rein, then I'll pick up canter again. There. And walk. Now pushing him a little bit out. So when I go to the walk, I'm kind of leaving the walk pirouette. And then once he's off of my inside leg, I think haunches in and canter. And walk and haunches out. There. And canter. Haunches in, canter pirouette and walk, haunches out, canter. If your horse starts getting really too sucked back, um, go a few strides out of it, and like forward in the canter, get the horse in front of the leg again, and then collect, bring your horse back into the canter pirouette, and then ride out again. So that's a great exercise to start to introduce the canter pirouette to your horse. Another great one that I love is the half pass into the pirouette because basically the pirouette has the same bend and everything um, from the half pass into the pirouette. So I ride a half pass from the corner to the center line. I collect. Now I'm making this a big schooling pirouette, like an eight meter circle or a 10 meter circle even. And then I'm going back into a half pass. I'm waking him up off my outside leg. I'm going straight. I'm collecting, I'm making a big schooling pirouette. back into a half pass and then make sure you know if they do a few good ones let them go out of it ride something a little forward um, but the pirouettes are hard work so you don't want to stay in it for too long so again the half pass to the center line half pass to the pirouette is such a good setup because you can think of the pirouette as basically being half pass on a circle. So I'm thinking half pass on a 10 meter circle with bend and haunch back into a half pass. Back into a half 10 meter circle with bend haunch 
back into a half pass. And then again, back to something forward. So mixing in that forward after the collection that the horse doesn't get stuck in the collected work is so important. Right, a little pirouette canner. That's the other thing is like, just mix in that pirouette canner collection all the time so that your horse gets stronger for it. Oh boy. 